Over the past two centuries, the New York Academy of Sciences has built an extraordinary network. It draws upon the great institutions of its home city while connecting innovators around the world. Now, on the eve of its third century, the Academy and its network are taking on two unprecedented challenges. First, catalyzing collective action across the globe to tackle some of the greatest problems facing our planet. And second, preparing to face the tests of the future by developing the most powerful pipeline of innovators and problem solvers ever conceived. The Academy is committed to confronting the growing list of problems facing our world, including one of the greatest challenges, ending malnutrition. More than two billion people worldwide suffer from malnutrition, yet we still lack key knowledge about nutrition and the human body needed to confront this challenge. To respond to this, the Academy partnered with the Mortimer D. Sackler Foundation to create the Sackler Institute for Nutrition Science. Its single aim, to support research into more effective ways of fighting malnutrition. In 2013, the Sackler Institute worked with the World Health Organization to publish a global research agenda for nutrition science. Hundreds of experts in nutrition science and public health created a roadmap for filling the most critical research gaps and improving human nutrition worldwide. One of the ways we're activating this research agenda is by providing seed funding to researchers, giving them a chance to test out early novel hypotheses so that later on they can get larger grants. The Academy's capacity to catalyze change has enabled it to partner with individuals and organizations whose vision is to drive change on a global scale. In early 2016, as the United Nations launched a set of 17 sustainable development goals to transform our planet by 2030, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon met with Academy President Ellis Rubenstein to make a special request. He asked the Academy to leverage its network of scientists, engineers, and innovators to galvanize action across the global scientific community and the private sector. On November 29, 2016, the Secretary General will again join us to open the Academy's Summit on Science and Technology Enablement for the Sustainable Development Goals. This meeting will bring together experts across industry, academia, nonprofits, and government. Its goal? To kickstart a collaborative effort to address the sustainable development goals of the 2030 Agenda. I don't believe that uh, any single organization can solve all the world's challenges, but I do believe that partnering in a major way can drive change at a scale that we haven't seen before. Achieving long-term progress against these goals requires us not only to identify and scale up our current best solutions, but also to think decades into the future. Who will develop the ideas and innovations to carry us to 2030 and beyond? Young scientists face deep competition for funding, and it gets more challenging every day. That's why the Blavatnik Family Foundation joined with the Academy to help keep our pipeline of scientific researchers strong now and far into the future. The Blavonic Awards for Young Scientists identify brilliant young innovators on potentially groundbreaking research paths and encourage them at stages early in their careers when they're most in need of funding and recognition. Institutions from across the United States nominate their best life scientist, best physicist and engineer, and best chemist. To date, there are over 2,000 scientists nominated from over 200 institutions with awards totaling more than $4 million. Linked together through the Academy's network, these brilliant young researchers will have greater opportunity to collaborate with one another and to inspire the next generation of young innovators. In order to fill the science and technology jobs of 2030 and beyond, we must be able to reach and mentor this emerging talent. That's why the Academy and more than 250 partners around the world have come together to build the Global STEM Alliance. It's a group of organizations dedicated to improving STEM education, working together to identify kids who don't necessarily have as many opportunities and support them with mentorship anytime, anywhere. The Junior Academy brings gifted and talented children from around the world into virtual teams to solve real-world challenges under the guidance of a professional scientist or engineer. 
Another program, 1,000 Girls, 1,000 Futures, pairs girls from over 25 countries with female researchers and engineers who work with the girls to improve college readiness skills and serve as role models of successful women in STEM. And finally, our after-school STEM mentoring program is designed to support children from underserved neighborhoods by inviting scientists and engineers into their classrooms, where they work together on local community projects. We've delivered a quarter million hours of volunteer hands-on science time to the kids around the world. These kids have had an opportunity to interact not just with the smartest scientists from around the world, but also some luminaries like Bill and Melinda Gates. Imagine, by 2030, a million children entering the STEM pipeline as young Academy members. Finding the mentorship, inspiration, and encouragement they need, this new generation will come together to meet the Sustainable Development Goals and create a better world. You are making all of this possible by uniting the efforts of the amazing organizations and individuals who make up the Academy's global network. We'll be ready to take on any challenge.